My name is Adeline Emter. I use she, they pronouns, and I'm an experimental psychology student here at the University of North Dakota. I want to talk a little bit now about legislative advocacy. Oftentimes, when there is action that is negatively directed towards a group of individuals like the LGBTQ community, we as members of the community can feel very disheartened because sometimes it feels like we can't do anything. Right? It can feel like we don't have the power to enact the change that we want to see. However, I want to remind you all that we live in a democracy, right? And so by nature of the democracy that we live in, we as constituents are meant to express our opinions to the legislators who are meant to represent us. There's a couple different ways that we can do it. I think maybe the easiest one is to just look up who is the legislator in your district. That's step one. And then from there, whether you're comfortable emailing or calling that legislator, especially in states like North Dakota, where it's a relatively small population, they're probably gonna answer your call or respond to your email. Or if they don't do it, someone will. <laughs> and so I think that that's, that's a first step is to get in contact with your legislators. Sometimes though, that doesn't feel like it makes a huge change either. Because sometimes we can talk to legislators and get very little response that's actually being put into action, right? And so the next step is going to be actually testifying in the legislature. So the North Dakota legislature meets every two years. In January of 2025, we'll begin the next session. When that begins, you as a constituent or as a individual who the laws that they're enacting are going to affect, have the right to testify. And there's a couple different ways to do it. You can just go right to the North Dakota legislative website and you can submit both written and in-person or virtual testimonies. So there's lots of different methods to voice your concerns with legislation or maybe voice your support for something that you see could be really beneficial for you or your family or your community. I'd just like to remind everyone that your voice does matter. And because we live in a democracy, it's essential that we do our part to engage in that civic responsibility. If you have a concern, if you support a policy or a bill that's going through the legislature, try to stay informed about those things and express those opinions to the people who are making these decisions.